Hello ladies, I am coming to you with a review, but first I wanted to start off by saying thank you, thank you, thank you to my subscribers. When I started this channel, I expected to have all of 10 people watching and all 10 are my friends. So having 36 subscribers at this point really kind of blew me away because I didn't think that many people would be interested in anything I had to say and I really thank you and really appreciate it. Um, your comments, suggestions, and everything. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Um, I also wanted to say happy 4th of July. I hope everyone had a great 4th of July. I had a nice 4th of July um, and I had a great time with the sales. Um, I also wanted to say that in having more subscribers than I thought I would possibly have, um, means I must invest in some video equipment because this cheesy webcam on my little laptop is not really sufficient but this 4th of July they had there were so many sales out there so many sales I mean it was like Black Friday all over again some of the sales were good some were okay and some were excellent and there it, it is like every time I thought I had seen every sale there was another sale and needless to say I got sold so a uh, cheesy webcam is going to have to be in operation for a little while longer anyway these are some of the products I got during this time I've received some already because a lot of people had pre 4th of July sales and I hit up a couple of places and one was sent to me by my friend Shirley thanks Shirley for me to try um, but I um, as you guys know who've watched my previous videos, I've been doing the shampoo bar thing. I'm finding that I do like it better than shampoo. I didn't think that was possible. I am a shampoo type girl. Most co-washes don't do much of anything for me. Um, and the uh, I had tried shampoo bars that were given to me in subscription boxes and things of that nature. And I didn't like any of them. But... I have found a company that works for me and from my previous videos you know that's Bobine. So I was talking with the owner because the other bars that I purchased, one is a Rasool Clay and the other is the um, Ayurvedic bar. Um, they're more detoxifying bars, um, strengthening and things of that nature so I figured I would need something that was moisturizing especially for a coat wash. So she recommended two bars to me. And of course, me being me, I couldn't choose one between one or the other, so I had to buy them both. So what I got from her, I got the Honey and Oats shampoo bar. It's looking. And it looks like this. It's a beautiful bar. Her bars are very pleasing to the eye. You can smell honey in it, but her bars are really not scented. Um, they just smell like their natural ingredients, which is another thing that I like, which works pretty good for me. The other one I got is the Cherise Hibiscus Moisturizing Bar. And it looks like this. Very nice bar. Her bars lather. So if you're into lather, if to you suds means clean, you will definitely get suds out of her bars and you do not need to use a lot of it to do so. Um, I like lather and I think that's another reason that co-washes kind of turn me off because I need something that's going to lather and I need to feel, um, I, I need to feel like it's cleaning my hair. Now with these two, um, I did half my head. Um, I got in the shower, put my hair in half, I did one half, this half with the oats and honey bar, and I did this half of my head with the hibiscus bar. I wanted to compare the two and see exactly how, uh, side by side, how they would, you know, moisturize or whatever they do. And they do both moisturize, however, they each do something different. I find that with the oats and honey bar, um, it cleanses. It does give some slip with the shampoo and it also like gives you more of a conditioning property um, your hair feels clean but it also feels conditioned which which would remind me more of a co-wash as far as like something like you know as I am and all the all those types of things um, with the um, 
Cherie's Bar, it also moisturizes, but it does more cleansing. It reminds you more of a shampoo like you would find in a bottle. So each of them has their own separate um, ways of working on my hair, but I love them both. Um, however, if I want um, the co-wash type of feel, I'll use the oats and honey. If I want a cleaner moisturizing feel, I'll use the Cherie's and Hibiscus Bar. So both of them, thumbs up from me. Love them both. Um, the other thing I got was uh, I had tried the Blue Rose Beauty Chocolate and Rasool Clay, which has become a staple of mine. Um, my friend Rebecca, she's Miss Smitty, Miss Smitty 73 here on YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you already know her. Um, she had tried the uh, Strawberry Hibiscus Deep Conditioner, and she said it was good. I was looking for something. Um, the Rasool Clay, Rasool Clay is, is like detoxifying and strengthening to the hair. It'll also make the hair very soft. Um, I was looking for something more with just moisture to it. So I got that. That uh, is the Strawberry Hibiscus Deep Conditioner. Um, I like it. Um, it's thin though. It's a little bit on the thin side. So this jar could almost be sold. Well, it actually could be sold. And I'm not going to be sure how I'm going to show that because it's very, very thin. This can be sold as you can see it's thin it can be sold even in a pump bottle or something of that nature because I have um, I have uh, leave-ins that are thicker um, but it does spread easily on the hair it does have a bit of a strawberry scent to it but this also has clays in it and I don't know about anybody else's nose but I can always smell clay um, and I like the smell of clay so that does not bother me at all um, it has good ingredients <clears throat> this back on so I can tilt it so I can read you the ingredients. Has distilled water with hibiscus and marshmallow root, aloe vera juice, kupuesu butter, tacuma butter, horsetail butter. Um, it has uh, a Bring Garage infused oil, bentonite clay, BTMS cetyl alcohol, castor oil, and honeyquat and fragrance, and, and it has a preservative. Um, I like it. Um, it even feels good on the hands when you put it on your hands. Like now I'm rubbing it in like a lotion. It has a very nice feel. It has some slip to it. Um, I left it on with a shower cap for about an hour. Um, want to do like a, uh, a uh, heat deep treatment with it next, but I didn't have as much time today. So I just left it on for an hour. Had good results. Hair felt good. Hair felt moisturized. Um, Will it be a staple? Not sure. I have to give it more tries because this was just the first impression of it. But I do like it. Um, had no problem with it whatsoever. The third thing I used in my hair today, which is also new, is the Jesse Curl Confident Coils. And this came from my friend Shirley. And this is a styling solution. And it says, defines touchably soft curls in all climates. And it says, uh, use with Jesse Curl Rock and Ringlets, which I don't have. But anyway, it says um, distribute evenly through soaking wet hair and scrunch to encourage curls or finger comb to elongate. Air dry or dry with a diffuser. It says this stuff is pretty concentrated, so less is more. Um, and it has water, aloe vera, it has um, alkyl benzoate, acetyl alcohol, it has uh, polysorbate 60, it has jojoba seed oil, guar. And it has uh, xanthan gum, magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate, and which which will help your curls pop. It is um, something that you can use to, uh, it's almost like a baking soda treatment in this sense. Um, and then it has uh, um, diazinolyl urea, and uh, that's about it. It's an, it's a pretty nice. It's very light for me. She has the unscented, so this one is unscented, but it's a little runny. And for me, things that are runny, I need things that, if it's something that I'm leaving in, it kind of needs to stick to my hair better than that. I don't use um, liquid leave-ins or anything else, and if that's the case for me, I may as well just use some water. But um, did it pop my curls? I would say it did. 
um, is it light very light I ended up using um, my Darcy's cocoa bean smoothing cream and a touch of um, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie underneath because it was just too light. I tried it on a section by itself. It was just way too light. It felt like um, I wasn't putting anything in my hair and I couldn't see any that it would um, give me moisture that would last in any way. Um, I did not use it alone. Like I said, it was way too light. I couldn't imagine really getting any hold out of it. So I did use a small amount of my home homemade flaxseed gel on top. Um, my hair is about 75 to 80 percent dry. I'm still wet at the top, but um, it, it, as far as definition, it, it, it did in a way, but at this point, I'm not even fully dry, and this is more like third day hair. Um, not that that's bad. It's not frizzy, at least, but it's still, and it, it is... Um, does have movement and consider I still have some crunch in here because I did use a flaxseed gel and so I haven't really fluffed it or scrunched the crunch out of it or anything but it still has a bit of movement but as you can see just this and it's not even dry it's gonna it is gonna puff up more like um, a second third day more like third day to me it's gonna puff up more like my third day here which is fine because sometimes when you're going out um, and you need to wash your hair today you want the bigger hair you want that more um, second third day look but you're actually on like seventh day and need to wash your hair um, so this old this this I could see working um, it's kind of humid here so I'm gonna go outside and everything today to put it to the test to see how it controls frizz um, and see what goes on uh, but it's it's pretty good. It has no scent, so it didn't interfere with any of my other products as far as consent, as far as scent is concerned. My hair feels pretty soft. It does feel moisturized, but I'm thinking that the moisturization I'm feeling is coming more from the uh, Blue Rose Beauty DC that I did, and that's what I was looking for out of that. I was looking for moisture. Um, but other than that, I got two little twisties in the front, which are still pretty much probably just about yeah, they're just about soaking wet. Anyway, um, that's it for today. I hope everybody had a good 4th of July. I hope everybody was able to hit sales and shop to your drop. Thank you once again to all of you who have subscribed to me. Um, I will see you soon. Um, I will be getting a whole bunch of stuff over the next week or two. Um, and I will do a haul video and any first impressions of anything I try because I have been enjoying playing in new products after really using mostly the same products since from November Black Friday until June when I was finally released from my Nova and able to try some new things. So every new thing that comes in here I want to try. I don't normally try so many together at one time but I'm just like a kid in a candy store and I'm losing my mind. So everybody have a good day. Have a good weekend. A lot of the sales are good until Sunday. Check them out. Find them. Go out there on Facebook especially. Look around. There is plenty to be had for everybody. Have a good one.